Today I want to show you how to use like pop forces and also the new um, adhesion. So I started doing like the very boring stuff right already. So we have an emitter, that's just a sphere sitting here. Um, then I clear the box as the container. I usually like template it, um, create a standard splashy. Um, the sub steps are now back to one. Um, if you want to have like a very good result on the surface tension, you should bump it up to at least three. Um, yeah. Um, then I created a collision object, uh, which we can pipe in here. What you need to do then is, of course, like activate the collision um, to have collision. If you now double click in here, uh, we do have by standard now the drag and gravity inside of here. You, we don't have it any any longer on the on the top side of things. I did it because I want to have like more control over it. Um, and I think that way you can like control it way more with like vex and so on. So um, it gives you more more power. So what I want to do is have the the fluid follow the curve. Um, so you can see I already created it right here, but I will recreate it. Um, so you need a pop curve force, um, and you just plug it in here. Um, and right away it's not doing anything, you see it just falls based on the gravity and collide with our bounding boxes. Um, so we need to point it to our curve that we created right here, um, or I created it. Um, you can just copy it and then plug it in here and you can see right away it's showing some guides um, and those guides um, basically tell you like how big the radius of influence is. So usually we will go a bit smaller because our emitter is like pretty tiny um, and now it will try to follow like the inside curve right here. Could have a different color I think um, but yeah so if we hit play now you see well some sticks but most of it falls um, and that's because our gravity is uh, way way stronger than this force um, so what we do now is just remove the gravity from the from the stream um, and now you can see the fluid is following the curve um, perfectly you can or not really perfectly because now you see well it drifts off somewhere nice surface tension uh -huh. but apart from that it's not really following the curve so we should increase like the follow scale and usually the suction scale should be higher than the follow scale because otherwise the follow scale that like, moves it along um, but it will at some point like leave the curve because nothing is holding it onto the curve basically um, so it just follows the direction um, but it wants to stick to the curve so the suction scale should be a bit bigger um, usually by standard all the scalers on we can turn that off um, you can see now well it's, first of all it's like way quicker but you can also see it's sort of like following the curve um, and already like colliding with our sphere right away which is pretty cool. Um, you can see right now it like already seems to sort of stick on there, um, which it does because we already have adhesion on. Um, let's let's turn this off for now and see how it looks. And you can see now the drops are falling, so it's not sticking to the sphere. We also don't have gravity, so they bounce away. Um, yeah, and they fly everywhere. So what we want to do, first of all, I think I want to have a bit more fluid um, to be able to cover, cover the ball. Um, so we can either increase our emitter by a bit, which I think is fine. Uh, but I also maybe want to leave it stream a bit longer so we have more frames of emission. But let's see how this looks first. Yeah, still not enough as you can see. Um, it's also like flying everywhere now. 
So now let's actually turn back on our adhesion. Like at one, at one, um, it's like a hundred percent. So basically, you have the sphere, and all the normals from the sphere sort of point inwards um, and force the fluid to stick onto the surface. Um, this is controlled over like a Y ramp, so um, it starts from the bottom to the top basically. So right now we have way more force down here, uh, adhesion force, um, and basically nothing up here. What I want, what I want to have now is to have like adhesion everywhere because I just want to cover the entire sphere. So let's turn that to one because we want like the full power. Um, and we want the force to be everywhere basically. We could also increase like the surge, surge radius. If you feel like particles still travel away, um, you can like increase the radius, like how far it's looking outside of the surface to pull them back. Uh, but the standard value is mostly fine. So let's actually template our sphere as well. And we also can template our curve so we see everything. And you can see everything sticks to the sphere and it's also like covering the sphere um, and filling, like sort of filling it. Like if you want, want to do, for example, an ice cream shot or something like that, like adhesion is super useful because um, the fluid sticks to your object in a way and it also sticks on the de lower ends where it would just drop now. Um, of course, now still like gravity is off which helps us we could turn it on again uh, we should lower it though because um, otherwise our curve curve force is not strong enough but you will see it won't look much different like the fluid tends to move a bit more to the bottom but it will stick to the sphere um, if you have like a ver very strong gravity you will see um, at some point almost all the fluid sticks at the bottom and then it is able to drop again. So um, yeah, keep that in mind and do whatever you need. Um, I, I don't need any gravity now, so I just turn it off. So now we can see our sphere is fully covered. Um, let's see if our sheeter is doing anything right now. Um, so go to filler points and you can see, well, only those few points are created by the sheeter right now. Um, and that way our mesh will probably look like sort of broken. So if we activate quick mesh, yeah, you can see that's not really what we want. Um, we want the entire sphere to be covered. Um, so let's see what what could be the issue, like why is the sheeter not creating more points. Um, first of all, we could reduce the distance, um, but I think it's not necessary. I think it's ex actually like the uh, velocity that might be too low actually for it to start creating points. So let's try reducing that to, I don't know, 0 to 1 maybe. And you can see already right here, like it starts to create way more points. But let's see what happens on this on the sphere. Well, still not that much more actually. So it will still look pretty broken. I also think we still don't have enough fluid, to be honest. Um, so one thing I will do first. Um, is to give the emitter a few more frames. So let's say maybe 10 or 11. Um, and you can see now it's streaming. Yeah, that looks already better. Mm -hmm. Way more liquid to cover the sphere now, which is quite good, I think. Um, you can see like the um, that's actually activated. Like the curvature is like having quite a strong effect on the on the um, surface tension. 
So I would actually say let's maybe turn it off completely. Because that could look better in this case. Okay, so I stopped for the simulation to uh, finish. Um, I actually decreased or increased the distance to 0 to 2 again because it was like way too many points. Um, but as you can see, it behaves like quite nicely now. So the sphere gets filled. Um, yeah, looks quite cool. And we don't even have like viscosity. I think with, if you add like some viscosity, it could look even cooler. Uh, but I guess you get the point now, which is like you can move it with some forces, like all pop forces you ever wanted, um, and then you can use adhesion to like glue it to your collisions basically. Um, if we now activate the mesh, you can see that also works. Um, at the beginning, we have a lot of like this shakiness. That will also go away probably if we add some viscosity. Because um, then the fluid sticks more together or actually increase like the surface tension again. We can try this, but this looks also already quite interesting. Um, so yeah, feel free to experiment with that further. Um, I will just show you one more thing, which is basically we add like another force just to show like all the amazing forces. Um, and that's like an attract, pop attract, um, just plug it wherever you want it to be. So I need to figure out the position of the sphere, which is quite easy. I can just copy it from here. Um, copy parameter, go in here, we can actually do like relative reference, because um, if we move the collider now, this one will also move. Um, and then on force we actually go to, um, I don't know, minus 1000 because I want to explode outwards basically and that's like a super way, a uh, super quick way to do it. Um, so minus 1000, which is a lot, um, but yeah. And then we also need to decide like when it should happen and I want it to happen like right at the end, so you do dollar $FF is equal to uh, 1125 um, and if we leave the simulation running now it should go through like glue in the sphere and then on 1125 it should explode basically so let's see how that turns out so we're approaching the explosion mark so let's see what happens yeah and you can see like it ex exploded outwards. Like a few points will leave the sphere now because they are outside of the circle. Um, but as I told you before, like one on adhesion is like super strong actually. Um, it's like 100% pulling the point in. So I usually go with something like 0.4 or so for like commercial shots or whatever of ice cream or like chocolate flowing over something. Um, but yeah, you can see like some of them are forced enough to leave the adhesion zone um, but the others will actually like stick to it um, could be a super cool effect as well we have like super high uh, velocity in here right now as well so you could increase this number by a lot probably or even like measure the points how fast they move um, and then like the sheet of wood create points in between so if you want to have like tendrils you can do it that way um, yeah, let's see how that looks on a quick mesh. Yeah, not 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 really spectacular because those points get eaten away. Um, but yeah, you can you could increase like the sheeter and make it work to your advantage, and it should look cool. Like over here, it should pick them up, I guess. So let's try. Yeah, let's see. That so works, and then at some point they're just like too small to pick them up. I will include like some special tools for this in the future as well to pick up those points. Um, we had we had it before. Um, you can still probably see them with droplets. Yeah, but they don't get picked up anymore. Um, but that will come back in, in a better way. So yeah, that's it for now. So try it yourself. 
play with some forces and some adhesion and yeah if you have cool results send them to me and if you find anything that's not working also send it to me.